Hi, in this movie I will tell you about the Regisept method, the science behind the Regisept method and our Regisept application. My name is Louis Santema, I'm a healthcare psychologist that has worked with people who have chronic pain for multiple years in several hospitals. I'm the co-founder of Regisept and CSO. When we look at chronic pain, we see that about one in five people worldwide suffers from chronic pain. That means 1.5 billion worldwide suffer from chronic pain, mainly in Western countries. Let's take a closer look at what pain actually is. Already in 1979, the IASP stated that pain can be both a somatic, so a bodily, and an emotional experience, and that it can be associated with actual tissue damage or potential. You can have pain without tissue damage, and you can have no pain with tissue damage and anything in between. And when we're looking at modern explanation models for chronic pain and acute pain as well, they're completely different from what they used to be. We used to think that only information from the body could create pain, but now we know a lot more about pain. We know that pain is created in the brain when the brain senses danger. And if the brain senses danger, it has to do with a lot of factors. It's not only the body, but also what we think, how we feel, what we're doing, and where our attention is directed at. So for example, having a lot of negative thoughts and feelings and avoidance, avoidance in our behavior can actually increase the pain we feel because the brain is sensing danger even when the information from the body is not there or the damage in the body is stable and not getting worse. So what we see is that there is a pain alarm center in the brain that's actually deciding to create pain or not. It's a yes or no situation where not only information from the body is involved, but all this other information about what we think, feel, do, and where our attention is directed at is actually influencing this alarm center in the brain as well. And that is specifically where we designed the Regisept method for. We designed it to alter all these sources of information that influence this pain alarm center in the brain. So by altering the information of how we think, what we're doing, by training how you feel yourself or training your attention and focus, you can actually influence all these sources from the brain that influence the amount of pain that patients feel. We do this by using our Regisept training app on the smartphone or in virtual reality and our Regisept member page. Let me tell you about the Regisept training app first. People travel in the app from the nerves to the spinal cord towards the brain the alarm center and take place inside the control room of the alarm center. We've implemented evidence-based techniques in every step of the training. Let me go through all the steps and show you some examples. The first type of gameplay is the nerve gameplay. It's based on visualization techniques that are often used, for example, in acceptance and commitment therapy and in mindfulness. It's a really strong tool for people to experience control themselves. You can see the nerve-based gameplay here. It's based on visualization. In visualization exercises, people actively gain control over their problem. We translated this to the app in VR and on the smartphone to, people for, to let people actually shoot their own pain. And by shooting their own pain, they are convincing the emotional part of their brain that there is no danger. And this can actually decrease the sense of pain people are feeling. And once they get familiar with this exercise, they can use it in daily life as well by applying the visualization themselves when they're not training with the app, for example. The second part of the training is the spinal cord gameplay, which is mainly based on relaxation and partly visualization. Relaxation is a strategy that is often used in cognitive behavioral therapies for chronic pain. It's a very relaxing type of gameplay where people get educated about pain gates those are gates in our body that can actually block signals coming up when we are relaxed. And they're training to be relaxed as well by focusing on their breathing and following the gameplay, closing the pain gates in the spinal cord themselves, as you can see in this example. Next up is the brain gameplay. People are actually traveling from the nerves through the spinal cord all towards the brain. So they're taking the same journey as a normal signal that could create pain would. And in the brain, they're doing an exercise where they actually have to focus on their own pain and switch this with a working memory loading exercise. And this lies at the basis of current EMDR theories. And as you can see in this example of the gameplay, people actively have to remember the pattern they see in the brain. 
they learn how the brain works and they learn how to desensitize their own brain by doing this type of exercise. The Alarm Center gameplay is quite similar to the nerve-based gameplay, so it's a direct visualization where people experience control over their pain. But they have to be much more focused and the focus has to be more diverse. By shooting the warning stimuli, people actually open their own pain alarm center. They get education whilst doing this and opening the alarm center and taking place within the own control room is a very strong metaphor for chronic pain. This metaphor is often used in acceptance and commitment therapy. And once people have opened the pain alarm center, they can take place within the control room. And within the control room, they can do several exercises. The exercises take about 15 minutes and they're largely based on mindfulness exercises for chronic pain, but also some cognitive behavioral exercises to influence how people are thinking about their own pain. And besides the training app, we have our own membership page. On the membership page, patients can follow an extensive pain course that's based on a cognitive behavioral therapy combining pain education for chronic pain. There are also other mindfulness exercises and visualization exercises people can use and apply when they're not playing the app, for example, or in their daily life. We also offer expert sessions. These are masterclasses with different experts that talk on the topic that's related to chronic pain. These masterclasses are often live, but members of the Readership Method can always view these masterclasses back in the library they can find on the membership page. I hope this short movie gave good insight on what Readership is, how the app looks, and specifically how we combined a science-based approach and evidence-based techniques to implement in both our training and on our membership page. Thanks for watching.